Welcome to it. This is uh, CCTV, Creative Conversations Television, yeah. brought to you by The Sober, you know what I mean? And today uh, we have a, a very special guest, an artist in every shape and form, you know, visual artist, audio artist, you know, just a mental artist, you know, yeah. even in the spiritual form, you know what I mean? You're an artist. Spiritual yeah. artist. Come on, yeah. you know, it's Jay Carson, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, my G. First and foremost, i just like to thank The Sobering for having me, um, for me to come up to your show and express um, how I feel about like my infusion of creativity and my heritage. And um, the journey keeps going, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm inspired by my surroundings at all times. I am a person who was raised where what I want to get in life I have to look at where I'm from and mm. who surrounds me. Let's say my environment is what enhances what I have to do next. <clears throat> if I'm in South Africa, in South Africa in a township or in the suburbs or in the city, the outcomes of my creativity, it's gonna be different. Mm. So it's more into my success and my creative abilities are measured by distance you know, and mm. they are measured by my surroundings. Mm. So my heritage starts from there, my surroundings. Mm. And it's not the matter of a specific thing that needs to come about and say, this is what makes me. I'm made by what surrounds me. Mm. So if I'm surrounded by the sobering, I'm going to be the sobering, <laughs> you know? If I'm surrounded by paint, I'm going to be paint. Mm. So I'm one with the earth. I'm going to be the earth. Yeah. Nature is consistent. I'm going to be consistent. So nothing will ever change with me. Mm. As long as the world and the earth, the universe, it's still rotating. I'm also on the orbit. Mm. I'm moving with the earth. I'm trying to find myself each and every day. I don't wake up the same. I don't, um, you know, expect what happened yesterday to happen today, mm. even what has to happen tomorrow. I don't expect it to happen the next day after tomorrow. Mm. So I'm just what I am when I wake up. Because yeah. I never know what's the new challenge when I wake up. If God decides today when I wake up to say, I'm going to give you a challenge, my child, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a person as tall as the great Kali. You still remember the great Kali? Yeah. And Mudimo Ari. We saw Dima. Yeah. But with only what? Faith. That's what's going to push me to win the challenge. Because remember, at this point of our lives, let's say every day is a fight, right? Mm. And that fight at the end of the day, it's either you lose or win. And the thing of facing, of, of, of facing loss, it's when you've already won. Mm. When you're facing loss, it means you're the defending champion. Mm. So meaning if you lost today, you are still the defending champion. Even tomorrow when you win, it means yesterday you saw loss. So today you'll win because mm. you're now up against the defending champion. I see it. <clears throat> now I want us to, to take it back to how you and I met, you know, and um, especially in context of the South African music landscape right now, you know. Yeah. Amapiya knows like the biggest genre and like one of our biggest exports in terms of music, you know, and you had Gom before that, sure. that was ruling, you know. But before both of those juggernauts in music, we had what I call the forefather to that sound, to you that know what sound, I mean? Yeah. And that for me, you know, I could be wrong, they might whatever, but for me, the forefather to that is Bacardi. Bacardi, yes. Yeah. And I met you through one of the pioneers. Yeah, uh, the maker of yeah, the sound. You know, the, the, one of the yeah. spearheads of, of, of the sound. Yeah. The late, great DJ Spoko. Sure. You know, just take us through how you guys linked up, you know, what, what you saw in DJ Spoken, what he saw in you, and how you guys forged the relationship. Go at Um, You're taking me back now. That's the, the greatest moments of my time. 
since I've been into this industry, let's say the whole creative umbrella mm. of the artisan life, you know? Mm. So that's like seven years ago when we met. That's a lot, seven, eight, nine years ago. Yeah, yeah, round about. Round about there. And it shows that like we really come a long way True. with this game. And we're now starting to mention the ancestors now mm -hmm. of the industry, which is DJ Spook. Mm. He was still an ancestor while he was still alive. That's why his name was Spook. Mm. He, he was the ancestor before even the ancestors could take him. Mm. And I even liked when you mentioned the Ama Piano thing. I'll get to the point on how we met and what he saw on me and what I saw on him. Mm. I like what you mentioned about Ama Piano. Vele, Ama Piano comes from Bacardi. And I know the person who pioneered Bacardi. Mm. So it means that my journey into meeting Spoku, God already made it clear for me that I'm only going to meet the owners of the owners. Mm -hmm. You know, not people who will come with templates. Because I'm a piano, it's a template that has been changed mm. to a different sound. It's like, we call it uh, still like an artist. If Jay Carson had this idea of painting blue, but we have the same pattern, the other person is going to paint it red. Mm. Bacardi was blue. Mama Bion is red, but like same pattern. Mm. It's just changed. That's why you even find people who are not, ev even the people who are like rapping or doing different genres, they're not doing Mama Bion because their life is like a template. And we never take templates. We create from the beginning. We create from the start, you know? We don't find things. Mm. So DJ Spogo, what I saw from Spogo, and that's what he saw from me also, mm. that Jay mm. So even with the people that we associated ourselves with today, they're still relevant up till this day in the industry. Mm. Even how I met those people through him. Mm. I don't like to name drop because like, I trust in my name more than name dropping. Mm. But like, it's not about name dropping, it's just shouting, shouting out my brothers out there. Mm. I'm talking about like nine years, ten, be ten years ago. Mm. As being in the same room, breaking the same bread. Those kind of people. Mm. But like even today, if now we start mentioning those kind of pioneers, like DJ Spooku, Spook Matambo, Lebhan Rasataba, they won't raise ears because you don't understand who are the godfathers of what's happening today. Mm. DJ Spooku is the pioneer of Bacardi. There's Ama Bian. Spook Matambo was the pioneer of township, electronic township music. And the culture of wearing futuristic outfits and starting to introduce this alien hi-fi life, mm. you know? But you find today that's what everyone is doing in Bramfontein. Mm. Oh, that's what most of the artists are trying to portray. But they don't understand where it began. Lebohan Rasataba. Directing movies. Shooting ads. Documentaries. Documentaries. Mm. Being open to show the life out there. Mm. To portray a certain story that we see on a daily basis, but him putting it in his own way. Mm. That's what people are trying to do now today. You know? They're trying to sell those stories that those people have been selling, you know? Those guys, 10 years ago, were able to get hold of High Snobbit. They were able to get hold of Noise. They were able to get hold of Vice to commission or premiere, whatever that they shoot. Those were guys where they would create out of nothing and they would bring them something, you know? But if today, 
vocalistic travels to London for like a month. He's the best artist in South Africa. Spook Matamba has done that in 2007 in Paris. You don't know. DJ Spook played Bakari live, headlining with Black Coffee, Summer Stage, New York. Labahan Rasataba flew to China to study his masters in film for six years in China. He got Nike deals before Nike was even known in the streets of sneakerheads. That Nike really gives deals to people. Shooting documentaries, brands, commissions. Nobody knew about that. But 10 years ago, those guys were doing that in South Africa. But today, when someone does it, it seems like they're the first ones. So the connection that I had with Spokonatas, I used to call him Spokonatas, Spok. Mm. Spoken. That was also yeah, like uh, his, his, his tag. His tag, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, uh, somewhere, sometimes they would you'd also put that in um, his uh, handle. Handle, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah on the internet. Yeah, Marvin Rampela. I really miss that, miss that guy. He was really smart, man. Super. He was really smart. We're from the same hood, actually. Mm. I'm from Atrisville, Sosville, Black Rock. He's from um, Ostad sides, but like he, like his dad lived there. Then you know we grow, we move out. We're trying to find our own lives out there. Mm. Then he moved out. He moved out to the squatter camp place called Mshengo. Mm. So the squatter camp Mshengo, my grandmother's place in Sourceville, in Pelinda, was not far from the squatter camp. You know, and mm. I was always there by, by my grands. And people around there, they were just like close with my family and all that. Then I met this other guy, his name is Philip. Mm. So Philip told Philip and be like, it's that time when I was like, I was insanely, insanely wanting to record music, yeah. you know? Yeah. And Philip was like, I can link you up with someone who can give you a studio session real quick. You just gotta give him a hundred bucks or 150. You know, <laughs> yeah, at least, but you know, yeah. you can give him 150 or, or something like that. And I'm like, okay, let, let's go. I get there. It's like Mukuku level, yeah. Shaq level. Yeah. I don't mind me. I want to record my music. But in that Mukuku, bruh, there's an iMac, there's a Macintosh, there's a high quality mic, there are monitors, serious monitors, mixers the volume, the quality of what's produced in there, that those computers, those computers are not buffering. Mm. <laughs> For that kind of level of quality of that music. If you play Bacardi now, his level of quality of Bacardi, that engineering, you hear that voice. It has boli. Even if you don't speak on others, it won't expire. Mm. Let that song that I'm going to be doing all over us now. If you play it now, it's all of that engineered strong to the core. Why both feel it? Why both feel it? Or a screw drive. Like, why, why screw feel it? So, so, shot reggae, shot but I'm talking about a president. About, I'm like, I shy, it was nice. Then I'm like, hey, it's again, this music thing. I'm like, exploring it, it's a bye. Yeah. So, it's like, okay. Um, I have my boys who are coming up from Joburg this coming weekend. So I want you to meet them. It's like, all right, cool. I'll be around. Ah, we nice. They pull up, the men's now, you know? It's Lebo. It's Spook. It's Justice. Justice Mukeli. Mm. It's um, Voyom Banja. And it's Fatuani Mukeli. So they're around the hood, Fatuani. So when like they call themselves, when they were still a collective, I, see a, as I see a different Jew. Yeah. And you know, they've been shooting, I see it's been those guys who've been big in the hood, shooting that level, yeah, the hood content. Yeah. Showing the squatter cam content. So yeah, I feel like they were excited to see that kind of vibe, yeah. vibe. It had the same synergy with what they're shooting from Pimville and seeing Achoo's real, you know? Mm. Now, yeah, we clicked with the homies, you know? We click, meet up, talking about my 10 years ago now. So, 
from then on, it's a culture now. When like obviously we pull up to Bram from Pretoria. Um, I remember me coming from Pretoria for like from from, from Pretoria to, to to Joburg for the first time. Um, it was ten years ago. Coming to Bram, mm. I don't know anything. I'm invited by Spook Matambo for a show, mm. and me and Spook at that time we had a we had a song, which. We haven't released, even today is not released, but like we had to release the song, but like, you know how this music thing, it's, it was never released, but like yeah. we had the song together. <laughs> we had the song together, like just because of, like he came, we vibed on a song, that's it. Then it's like, yo, pull up this Saturday, I'm gonna host a show, Basement, Bannister Hotel, this the Eddie. He sent me the Eddie, I pull up, I pull up with my boy, I don't know if you still remember him, Gustav. Yeah, Nerepilarli yeah. too, yeah. So I pull up, I pull up with Gift. Um, I was like, Mara Gift, hey, ma, Steven Spook, when I got Zwagale Josie, sat, one swar. So when I had cash, but not enough cash to cover me and Gift to get to job. Mm. You know? The situation was Gift was waiting for money. Or it's an and Sansar Zay Frugan or Joe, Tansar if you get it, but now Katsuere cut the in now, it on Saram Bilago Jews. Obviously, I'm going to Joburg. I don't know, I have to get a plate, like I have to eat, I have to, you know, I, I'm, I'm a person who likes to be comfortable, you yeah. know, like when you go feel uncomfortable. It's like if I have my own share of card, even though if maybe it's, even though I feel like my card is, is, is 10,000, mm. it means 10,000, you know, you're like, if it's 50 bucks, <laughs> It means that 50 Ooh, bucks, yeah. so you're like, because yeah. that's how the level of, comfort, of, of, of comfortability I feel. Mm. So I was like, I'm a gift, I'm going to have a tour. And I'm like, I'm going to have a So let me know in the morning if your cash is clear. Sharp, I'm going to have a lot of money. In the morning, gift hits me, I'm be like, Esh, I had clear. Uh, red light, I'm fine. I'm like, Esh, I'm going to have a lot You'll be fine. I was like, nah. We're trying to find the easiest way for whatever that I have. You're a fitisa who bought the sum. I'm like, okay, shop, I have this much. But like, then Gift comes up with an idea of us to catch a metro rail. I was like, metro rail? Metro rail? Shop, how much is a metro rail ticket return from Joburg, from, from Pretoria to Joburg? Because metro rail can move from Sozville Station in, in Atchisville mm. straight up here to Joburg. So what happened was, um, a return, yeah, metro rail to Joburg, in and out Joburg, from Pretoria to Joburg. That thing was only 13 rand, bruh. So, that, so let me just tell them 26 that. bucks can get us to Joburg in and out with a metro rail. Yeah. I was like, bro, let's get the metro rail. How long is it going to take us to get to Joburg? He's be like, no, two hours. Two hours. Okay, I don't mind as long as I'm with you they coming with me along, you know? Sharp, I'm happy that like Gift is coming with me now. Um, be like, Sharp, let's fly. That's it. Metro Rail. Sweet. That's it, Josie. Josie, Bram, it's when like, imagine when my 10 years back, but in neighbor goods, and I would say, Lord, and I live no fees, I can't need. Like, it was that Bram level, like for real, knowing or not, like it's the street culture. Why you, and this is what, you want to see, and this is what you want to experience on a daily or on a weekend. Luckily, when we just walked in Rajiga, Mopra, Momola, same time, Akizurgi Mudi Morgama, Kutuna Lamajit, same time, Kispokonada, Sigispuk Matambo. Yeah, it's that time when they had this band where we saw a phantasma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Spokonada was the DJ of Phantasma. Phantasma, yeah. Yeah. So, let this other guy, but get, get Andre Holden Hayes. Yeah. Cool dude. He used to play for this other rock band, but get the Marine. Mm. He was a lead guitarist. So, hey, Hana Mobile 3. Yo, what's up? Dope. Hey, man, even now, you guys can just hang around. We have a studio session in Newtown, mm. um, in Bukko Baseline. We've booked there for a studio session. You just, just hang around. Have some food, do whatever. It's Joburg, enjoy. Yeah. Catches, let's link up there in like an hour. Come to the studio. Shop, come to the studio. Shop, shop. 
at the same time, I'm seeing neighbor goods getting enough food mm. by the market. Shabo. You know, neighbor goods back then, they would bring like a marimba band. The people play. Guru, 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 guru. Yeah. You always see people that like inspire you and like you sing the, the coolest dream. No, 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 back here, no, no. Yeah. 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 I rather bass line. Rather than a bass line. Studio engineer, but it's another. Uh, these niggas are the source. Mm. These guys are the source. Moonchild was introduced by those guys' source. Very mm. fantastic. Kale. Kale, 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 kale. Even if we search now, you can check the music video of my eight years, nine years ago. I spoke my tambo. What the my music yeah. video? All about Barca, Eye of the Sun. Live so late. Yeah. Yeah, that song, Le Fantasma. But mostly, I'm traveling alone. I'm unja. I'm bugila di room. What what? Things like that, you know. To show honore, these guys have have uplifted a lot of guys. Mara, you won't see it. You yeah. You won't see it. You won't see it. Yeah. Like it's just. Those silent moves. Mm. One talent, those silent moves. That's a whoo -whoo move. Mm. So I remember, I don't know if you know Hussein. Yeah, I know Hussein. Yeah, like one of the co founders for Daily Paper. Yeah. Gerke Hussein, Captain Oshma, Le Jefferson, mm. Papa Gan. These guys, they like, there's something that you have to know about Spook. This guy, he's the one who brought out Ricky Rick to Amsterdam to meet us. Yeah. Ricky Rick went first. Then he gave him a call and be like, now we're sending our, I'm sending my next boy, it's me. Mm. So about, okay, okay, my little man, okay. Yeah. But you never know. I'm saying it. But do you, you think know? this is because, I mean, all of this is, I mean, the internet wasn't as big as it was then. So, yes. The communication. So, all we have at that time, we had. Spook had a dope blog. Uh, yes. Yeah, he used to run the blog. Run the, yeah. So did OK. Um, OK Malum Cool Cat. And that was the only way, because mainstream media wasn't, wasn't, wasn't yeah. on them. Yeah. And, and now, that's why like when artists like go overseas, it's such a big thing such now big because thing. everybody can, can see it. See. Everybody can see mm. the snaps. Oh, yo, these guys are really doing it in London. These guys are really, really doing, doing it there. Yeah. You know what now I mean? Now everyone has the access, access. Now to see. Whereas Spook was doing it then, but there wasn't um, a big digital footprint. Yeah, footprint, like Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Say, yo, look who I'm mm. chilling with. Yo, I'm What's here happening? with Ban Ban. You know what I mean? Most nine sister store. Yeah, like when... Uspook, Uspook was telling us he'd play at the White House, like White House lawns. White House, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine seeing that on Instagram? Man. Like, now we, 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 we couldn't have that because you know? Instagram wasn't really a thing like sure. that, you know? True. Yeah. But, like, that's why today I'm here. Since Speak. Instagram is there yeah. and the sobering has the influence for people to finish this interview and understand where is the source. Yeah. Even me to be here today is because of those guys. I won't hide it at all. Truth. Truth. I won't hide it at all. Mm. They taught me so many things. It's been a long time I haven't chat with them. Yeah. But like, I know when I say, yo, it's going to jump back quickly. Because mm. we know, we see each other. We Rabonan, Rila, Mantalan, we there. We're healthy. And now, even though he's trying, he won't even like post back his content to a one sort can I footage a kale? Can I diplo? Oh, can I footage a kale? Can I mama? Or diplo a periski pasaka sing spook mat humble? What what? Or maybe my show in Paris got 2007 or something like that, you know? Crazy. I'll check Instagram. Maybe I'll do follow us to 800. Maybe it's 800 followers, you know? And those are the first guys to be verified. Mama sends my tweet. Not really. But I cannot like one. <laughs> one of. Yeah. Okay. Guantala. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like. Bon natas. What's Puko natas? Dude. They made a bomb, dog. That guy was making a world tour. Mm. Denmark. When he got, he got sick. He got sick in Moscow, in Glasgow. No, it's crazy. 
no, in Scotland, Glasgow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, in Glasgow, mm. in Scotland. He got sick. He collapsed on tour. And from there, he was from Denmark, Denmark. He was from Japan, Japan, that, 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 that. He was just hopping in and out. Mm. Before even Red Bull Studios was a thing, he was already in Red Bull Studios. Yeah. Amsterdam. Mm. Today we can just play it live. Mo YouTube, Rwana Masego, FKJ. That's how people will know about it. But Gila Red Bull Studio. Mm. go Amsterdam. That's crazy. Even go Cape Town, I don't know if it still functions or what. I think um I think Red Bull music has folded now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately. Um yeah. I also know another hole that I'm forgetting to talk about, you know. Sakile Molesh. He's like the former goldfish lead singer. Former goldfish lead singer, mm. Sakile Molesh. Goldfish was headlining. All the big shows, it was like a two-man DJ band, but like mm. they had a leader singing their songs, mm. which was Sakila Malashe. And they were headlining every show in Ibiza. They were headlining every, every Tomorrowland. Crazy. Body Fort Knox. Body, we are together. Da -la 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 -la. Oh, mm. oh, oh. That homie. Okay, when I was touring the secrets of the game, not the secrets of the game, like secrets of the game, but like he he also had like a, his own show, but like globalize yourself. Mm. It's something like this, like the sobering, mm. but like what like globalize yourself. The name globalize of the, yeah, globalize yourself. Yeah. It was playing on Red Bull Music's app, that show, mm. broadcasted in Vietnam. Broadcasted in Vienna. Vienna, straight up in like Austria, Salzburg, Germany. Because you know, if you're in like, the, the Europe is, is crazy, you know, like you can drive from another yeah, country to another country. Another country, yeah, take a train. Yeah, yeah take a train or something, yeah. you know? So he was hitting these Insta ball, what, what, with mm. the shows and playing big shows that side, and you know? And there's just so much about the secrets of the game. I can count myself as the secrets of the game. I definitely count you as one of the secrets of the game. Yeah. I definitely do, which is why it's such a anomaly, you know, the way that you that, that you move. Yeah. You know, and most don't even don't even know. You know yeah. What I mean? It's like right now you're delving into the world of music. Sure. But you're also in the world of product. Product, yeah. You're in the world of design, and you 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 traveled to. I mean, you've you've gone to places like New York, yeah. You know, uh, with with your with your craft, with my craft, yeah. yeah. Now take us take us through to how you find yourself in New York, and you working with the likes of ASAP Ferg, ASAP Ferg, on yeah. a bicycle, crazy. You know, and you're advert you you're on you're on, on the, interviews the interviews with uh, with the complex and, yes. and you're there and you're part of the design team. How do you find yourself in that space? Those are the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Those are really the secrets of the game. Um Redline Bicycles. Asa Ferg. I wanted to do a collaboration with um, Redline. We wanted to like release a bicycle with Redline. Mm. Um, we actually, what had to, what everyone had to look for, it was like just like a, a manufacturing company that like was able to manufacture limited bicycles for Ace of Ferg. Mm. Then I was like, okay, I know a bicycle company, it's Redline, the NLA, like, we just need to send a proposal. Mm. They'll make it happen, a legit one. What's smart is that the influence just got him the deal. He's an American superstar rapper. Mm. We started to we, we started to calculate the money that the value of Ace of Ferg. How is he gonna trade his value? 
with the red line. Mm. That value for value thing and how many bicycles are they going to make, you know? Then comes to a point where for me to meet the guys, some home of mine by Viacom New York, the, the company that owns MTV, mm. his name is Benson. He's close with them boys from Harlem, the mob, mm. the ASAP mob, the Lords, everyone, Barry and everything. It's like, let's go out, let's go chill. We went down to Soho, from Soho we went to One Oak, to this club owned by this home by Ronnie, Ronnie Madra. Mm. Yeah, serious clubs. The one oaks are every oaks are everywhere. Then Paris, Dubai, Tokyo, LA. When we got there, oh, just the whole mob chilling there, talking about Rocky Fag and everything, what what. Same time talking about now you wanna get on bicycles. What? Yeah. I'm like, and we just need to get it on paper, blah blah blah. I'll be like, no, I'm good at that shit. Mm. I'm good at getting shit on paper. I can write it and I can send it in the morning. Tomorrow it's up. I'm going to send it in the morning. Mm. And as Vara sent it in the morning to his people, his management look at that thing and be like, cool. That's the source. Yeah. Remember, oh, what I said is like all that we're looking for is for like a company that would manufacture assemble. Basically. Yeah, only. But I was like, no, we can, I can turn it into a story into where we can make a joint venture with our an already existing bicycle brand mm. that would like say, we're making a collab brand. It's a collaboration, it's for value for value mm. with the brand. They manufacture over a thousand bicycles in a day. So they wouldn't mind to make a couple of Asafric bicycles. And I dropped the brief, dropped the budget. I dropped where it's gonna go. How are we gonna get it to the people? How are we gonna advertise the bicycle? How many boys from Harlem are we getting bicycles from Redline for them just to cycle in the streets, just mm. to follow us to, to times from Harlem to Times Square? Because where we shot that interview, it's at the top building of this, they call it 1515 Broadway. I'm sure you know the building. It's, in, it's on Times Square, just on 42nd, but like it's 1515 Broadway. That's the name of the building. That's where the big offices the headquarters of MTV, where they're based. Wild and Out is shot in the mm. um, TRL, blah, blah, all the MTV shows, 106, 106 Park, they're shot in the, the studios, they're in the, yeah. like of everything. If you see M American television, MTV, it's shot in the, they have all the studios, every floor. Get the studio for you. Get the studio for you. Like, you go to Shiana. Yeah. But yeah. if in South Africa, when you see that, you say, yeah, it's real Illuminati. Yeah, that's the thing. Come on, I didn't So, yeah, they be like, okay, sharp. Benson is close. He got the ways into getting the show to the right producers and get Sway to present mm. the bicycle on. Then I'm like, okay, let's do it. But I also want to get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know. Yeah, I also want to get on the show. Yeah. I want, I want you to give me, I want you to be there. Let's make it like a fun thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we made it a fun thing. We made it like, that's how it happened. It's just like, it's, it's, it's about who you know. You know, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Active, if, that's the yeah. secret. Yeah, that's the secret. <laughs> It's about who you know. So knowing some guys allowed me to fit into some spaces. Yeah, but you had to have some skills. Some skills, yeah. you know. Those skills also work, you know, because I went to Vega. Mm. Vega, it's a brand leadership school. Yeah. They taught me all those things. Even before I went to Vega, I already knew on how there's value for value for a brand to collaborate and how you're going to convince client to be with us, mm. you know. and. To convince clients, you have to be with the right people. Now, if sobering now, how we chilling, we have to put Red Bull here. We know how we're gonna make it happen. And also for Red Bull to take out money, why we put them here? Mm. Yeah, you must tell them. Yeah, like Mom. next interview. <laughs> <laughs> next interview. You want interview. that interview. Want that money. It's dope. It's yeah. just to know people like I'm crazy about my connect in New York. Like I'm connected to a lot of people like a lot of people like and a lot of influential people mm. you know like real influence and 
which is crazy. I don't know. It's God's way. It's God who made it happen. I never know, dog. Yeah. I just meet these guys, dog. That's why I'm be like, you can find a South African rapper or you can find, I don't know, whatever from, like, let's say a South African rapper right now and you find maybe a company putting all the money to that guy. When they're putting money, all, all the money to that guy and let's say you're going to record a song. Let's, not, let's say now you're going to record a song with, who's the hottest in America? Let's say Rudy Rich or Lil Baby. Just a young kid from South Africa. They invest now. They say, you're going to contact Rudy Rich's management. You're going to put in money. You're going to fly there. You're going to shoot. You're going to record everything. You're going to spend time with Rudy Rich. Two days, three days. You're in Atlanta. You're wherever. But the song never pops. Or... They don't get return on investment mm. for that. I remember when there was Mabala Noise. They did a lot of that in yeah. America. Du Bois. You remember Du Bois? I think I remember Du Bois. Du Bois. He Boys. made a song with Tiger. Yeah. In a Ferrari in LA. They had the Shot best even shot video, everything. Boys. Google Du Bois now. Are the songs nice? It depends what you like, yeah. whatever you're like, into. Um, I'm not hating, but... <laughs> 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 the right people. Look, that guy won't repost that song on his side. What? Maybe that it was just guy. a check. You know? Because you yeah, know it's, it's like both, check. It's both it's checks for everything. For everything. It's checks to even post. So we hate the part of just checks. That's why I was allowed to say, bro, I also want to do that appearance with yeah. you. Yeah. And say the right things, yeah. you know, about me and the world to know, the whole America to know, you know. That the boy from the, Atrich. Atrich, Kamharakas, you know. And I was like, if you smart, corporate. Yeah. And that's why I'm when you guys got here, I got there are people out there never fisa card. But today what the heck were you doing with those opportunities? What kind of deals were you signing? Sign retainers. Don't sign one offs Sign things. Tell it all some for air. Give me a nice endorsement, even though you don't pay me per month, or even though you don't pay me if you pay me once off, but give me that endorsed letter. Refer me somewhere else. Mm. Show me, allow me to, you know, push more and be like you. Like, mm. speak to those guys. Just don't, don't let that president away, like president of what, what, of Nike, of what, of Nike, or a young moment oil. Like, just allow him to learn how to use a reference. Mm. And so like, let them refer you themselves. And so I'd like for you to also grow in the same room with them. And so I'd like relationship management. Your sm like once our relationship management. And again, look at um Nehu. Mm. He's just appointed as a head art director for Kenzo. For Kenzo. Kenzo is owned by LVMH. Nehu has a brand of Pharrell. We've been running brands together forever, since, since. Those guys, actually with Nehu, he started because he was smart. He didn't need to go to school for anything. Referencing got him somewhere. True. Manzoar, I painted Reebok sneakers. I ran the whole campaign. I've proved that like I'm, I directed the video. I've proved that like I did that. I've proved that I did that. I've proved that I did that for the whole campaign. Reebok just were there to splash money and their product. That's all. Do you think that profile won't allow me to go apply as a creative director at LVMH? It will. I have a successful campaign that I creative directed myself for the renowned brand. Mm. Same with those guys. I have a successful babe. Successful. Mm. If can I if I've done things that you guys have people even sometimes we create positions. 
recruit that position sometimes. Some, you know, some companies don't have creative directors. Mm -hmm. They only have brand managers, marketing managers. Don't send the CV, send a proposal of want to be a creative director. Because you can send your CV. It's a resume. If you don't have that capacity mm. to, for you to be an ideal asset for our company. That's the response that you're gonna get. True. But when on a proposal, you guys have this gap, a gun. Mm. I can fill it up. Me so it's, so it's about identifying, identifying an opportunity, yes, an for, opportunity them for them to capitalize. To capitalize. On. So is this how these are one of the, the secrets? Yes. Right? Yeah. When we're talking secrets now. And now when we're speaking, you you spoke or alluded to how you are able to cut out or jump the middleman. Yes. In deals. Mm -hmm. Now, the middleman most of the time is the agency. The agency. And in the beginning, you always say, you said you go to the source. To the source. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, how are you able to go to the owner? To the owner. You know what I mean? Because you've worked with several brands. That You just mentioned your example of the Reebok campaign, mm. which it was proactive yes. in a sense where it wasn't something that they had in their campaign calendar. Campaign calendar, yeah. yes. And you, that's your brainchild. Oh, yeah. And you go straight to them and you said, look, let's do something cool. How does, how does that happen? How do you find yourself in a position to speak directly to the the, the 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 client, you know what I mean? And not the agency. You speak, you speak, you speak into Reebok. Directly. You Samsung. Mm -hmm. you know, directly. Directly. Uh, I think Levi's as well. Directly. How, how do you navigate through those spaces? How do you find yourself in those rooms? Look, I'm going to tell everyone the secret. It's another secret. It's not even a secret. It's out there. If now I go on my internet, if I'm really passionate about my work and really want to make it, I'm going to do serious research about what I want to achieve. First step, go the type, say, say, come on, brand manager, Levi's. You don't say it. Da, LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Great. Write down the name. My dad told me something. said, if you, you want to start working on something, write it down. Write down what's going to help you. Don't look at the difficult things first. Look at the easy things. Find out who's running that, who has what you have. Mm. Just write it down. Where is it? Write it down. Cycle it if you see it. Underline it if you've read it. Okay. Okay, mama. Let's say maybe if I want to reach out to Louis Vuitton. I see brand manager Louis Vuitton or whoever who approves money at Louis Vuitton. I cycle the name. Next step. Louis Vuitton head office. It's gonna show me. Mm, what LVMH, what, 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 what? Okay. Task bar, what, what? Yeah, website. Eh. Click on contact. I'm gonna get the straight direct desk number. Yeah, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, LVMH, department that it's gonna show me like the number. Even if you go to the internet now and say Louis Vuitton head office number, you're gonna see it. Mm. It's there on their website. It's there. You're gonna find it. I'm gonna sacrifice 100 rand for an international call. If I'm in South Africa, if I wanna call Paris. I'm gonna saw the name. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm fine. Is this person in office? Um, let me check for you. I'm sorry, he's currently on the line right now. Can I take a message? Um, I don't mind holding. Okay, thank you. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. I'm sorry, he's still on the line, but like, um, okay, do you mind giving me his email? Okay, I write down the email. Then I relax. I have contacts. I have contacts. Contacts are vital. Contacts, contacts It's number one. It's the key level. Mm. If, the, if you have the email to that guy, it's in your hands now. Mm. What are you going to send to that guy? Something that's going to catch his eye. Something that's going to say, okay, 
we are very delighted to have you on this offer. For him to respond like that, what are you going to do? What's going to make him respond back to you? Then I'm there. I'm not going to only look for Louis Vuitton's email. I'm going to look for all the brands that fit what I want to do. I didn't only approach Reebok. Some didn't reply, some replied. Some promised me next year, some promised me next month, some promised me now. That's why it happened now with mm -hmm. Reebok. So I can approach Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Balenciaga. And, uh, at the same time, just flipping names on the proposal, but like sending the right thing. But like I'm sure if I approach 10, one of them is going to say yes. Hectic. So it's literally a layman. Yeah. A layman approach. Yes. Three, like... Which way, like, which other way must I do this mm. if it's not me trying to contact these people? Mm. Once I send the email to these 10 contacts, what happens is maybe I would wait for like a week. If I'm not getting a response, I'll type up a follow up. Type up a follow up. If I don't get a follow up back response, I call again. So it's follow-ups, it's approach, yeah. follow-up, uh, follow-up. So basically until you get to reply. To reply, yeah. Yeah. I call. If he's not available or if he's, he's on a line, if maybe he's in the office, he'll pick up. If he's in the office, he's on a line, I leave a message saying, I sent you an email on this day. I haven't sent a follow-up. May you kindly let him know that like, are we still going to stick to the timelines on the proposals? Because mm. proposals have timelines. That's why I'd be like, what's important is what you say to those people. Your approach, you know? Because in a proposal, I can send that I want to work with Louis Vuitton. He can just, like, put you on the bench. Because you're not even stating what, when you want to do it. Mm. He'd be like, you can say, no, let's do this art project together. He can see, okay, this guy wants to do an art project with us. Hey. I'm dedicated on the next fashion run of what was. That's yeah. my dedication now. Yeah. So but like, at least when you say, in October, I have this running, you can say, how's my calendar? What if there's a gap of October for you? But when there's no timelines, you can't go to his diary to, to check if there's a gap for your work. True. No timeline is be like, ah, we'll see it. But like, if he sees October, he'll open. Specifics. Then if he opens and he doesn't see where to fit you, he'll respond to you and say, next year, as I say, like responses Damn, are not the yeah. same. It's either we're going to do it next month or we're going to do it now or we're going to do it next year or we'll be committed in this coming month. Then I'm just like, now, if you say we're going to do it next month or next year, by the meantime, what can we talk about? You don't just let it go. Mm. What can mean, I do? Yeah, like, yeah. what can we like, keep the relationship going, uh -huh. like, you know, like, not just because of, like, our convo ends there. Mm. You know, it's same with this alcohol brand, um, Glenn Moringi. We have this up nice deal that's coming next year. It's like, send me 20 bottles just to keep the relationship going until I'm, until we reach the time, my timelines. Send me 20 bottles of whiskey. Be like, yes, no, just send me a delivery address. That's where you build trust now then I'm, I'm smart. Those 20 bottles, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint them. I'm going to sort of like make like a nice tower of bottles painted in my place. I take a picture, send it back to the brand manager. Look what I've done. I think we can execute this when a timeline comes. Mm. And I feel like now we can also incorporate a mural. So Mario, you're bumping more cheese, you're bumping more ideas. Now she's starting to see the vision building up. They're starting to you know, trust you more. She can even like spin her mind back and be like, let's schedule a call next week. Maybe we might as well do it earlier. Mm. Or when really, it's really like time constraints, what can happen is that whenever next year, when it gets there, it might be like whatever, how, how you imagined it, it might be more than what you've mentioned. Just because of how you've been connecting with them, like building the brand loyalty, the everything. Because yeah. remember, these 
Ke ba tu lo bona tu wase michini wabona like yeah. the emotions if someone on Monday they don't respond to you it's tired from the weekend. Mm. Don't do business on a Monday at least maybe from Wednesday. Mm. Send your pure proposals. Don't follow up. Scam a bar. Nandalan like o baraka span already sa bar span. No matter how long I love my work, I love painting, I love in the some day you like Kenya one na fena. You overwhelmed by the universe. You feel heightened. For no reason, you know that feeling in your heart, very like why mad. Or baragan tongo le mo, so sinaga o nyaga sele. Just wanna like, you know, ish ish. And that and so, kaba tulo and they go through those things and nala muhombi ana people can just like detach themselves from deals because they can just be here on someone, you know. Mm, so and skaba eh, you too much. That's why, but was a last, cause. Not having two minutes. Not having on a okay shop, it was the next year. Oh, not having okay, they gave you the deal now. Look, I'm gonna show you now. If you give me the deal now, I'm gonna do it my best. I'm gonna do it my best. When I send back the work, invoice cleared everything. When I send back the work, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna jump on the next work. Mm. And the next work, that's when we sign a retain. A retainer means it's an endorsement. Now. It's no longer just like a once-off once thing. Off, yeah. I'm endorsed. Doesn't mean it has to have a year plan. Doesn't mean that it has to have like a two-year plan. Doesn't mean that like you have to give me this much monthly. My endorsement contract can say we're gonna give Jay two million a year. Dope. Just because of like he did one that one beautiful job. On Tala New York, let's plan it. Let's be like a sandcastle. He showed us something the brand has never done before, and for that we're gonna give him two million rands a year. He's smart. He's like corporate. He knows how we work, and since we give him two million rand a year, he can create as much as possible that he wants with our brand. Doesn't mean that two million. I'm just gonna sit. No, I'm going to get a rework. Yo, I have this idea today. Yeah, rework. And I just do it. If I want product, just go get it. If I want, yeah. You know, like, workflow. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Just because of a grad two meter. We're not for the rest of your life. But don't grad two meter from the brand. Two, two million, two million. I want. So, those are the secrets people don't really get. You ask yourself why Rihanna can be signed by LVMH. They'll never say for how many years. You ask yourself why these people, will, will, or will, who are these guys? You're saying Bald will wear Puma for the rest of his life. Lionel Messi will wear Adidas for the rest of his life. I'm telling you now, if 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 PSG, they wear Nike or what? Jordan. Jordan. PSG, they'll, they'll never put him on a Jordan kid shoot. Because he's wearing an, ad, an adicock, an adi boot, soccer boot. I get a ball or two. I'm uh, not like, it's the same, <laughs> same with brands. Yeah. And so they want, because loyalty, just to a soccer boot. That's true. To play, for him to show. Since as we're not on the spotlight of the pitch every day as artists, I just need to be more creative with the brand and it gives me more flow since I'm getting my two million a year. Anore, what can we do now? Let's say maybe I promise you 10 projects a year. You give me two million. And I always create, always create, always create. I feel like that's the approach people don't really know. It's people know who are already doing it. It's they. I don't know if maybe they don't really understand what it's happening. Mm. And it's really happening. Mm. If you can look at Americans, like international people, like whoever who's up there, who the people that inspires, people like Drake. That's why Nocta can release whenever he wants. That's why he can release what what, because Nike's already giving him 10 million a year, dollars. Frank Ocean. Apple Music is giving is giving him money. My twenty million, a year. I received just because of his blonded what what playlist thing on <laughs> Apple Music. You know, 
He's not breaking record streams. He's not what? It's a deal. It's a deal that he got, yeah. you know, with Apple Music just because of like, he releases an album. And this was like, when was this? 2016. Around about, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And his relationship. He's, he's still pushing it even today. Yeah. There's blonded what what going on there. It might be a once of 20 million, but it's a 20 million dollar. Do that for the rest of your life. You take it. Because it's 20 million dollars. 20 million dollars can put you on for the rest of your life if you're smart. This Frank Ocean is going to cycle around New York with his bicycle. <laughs> if you're smart. If you're smart. Yeah. You know? I drive a bicycle. I want to wake up as a street kid without a roof. I want to wake up without food. I want. Mm. And again, once you start having that money, like with my 20 million dollars in your account, what happens is that when banks like Wells Fargo, American banks, even like even with South African banks, that's what they do. Once you have that kind of... Invest tech. Yeah. If, Shia, maybe 20 million hits in your account now, um, what happens is that there are financial advisors, right? You have like a lot of people calling you. But like now, phone like about to buy private wealth, yeah. Forex, what, 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 So what happens is that since the bank can't do certain things without our money, they're trying to advise you to put in money on them. Mm. Not to take out the money. They're scared that you'll eat the money because the bank can't do certain things without the 20 million. Yeah. So you know what they advise you to do? They say, Frank Ocean, you have $20 million in your account now. Invest the whole $20 million on Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is a bank that you'll never think it will fall. It will never fall. It has branches all over America. If you give us the whole $20 million now and you put it on a share of like, you get 10% a year of that money. We give you 10% of $20 million if you invest $20 million with us. And your money's on hold. Your twenty million dollars. It's always there. It's always there, but like it's an investment. Yeah. In our bank. Yeah. When I each and every after twelve months, okra. When I two million. Two million. Two million. You just charge that two million, yeah. and two million, in a year, it's a lot of money. It's like charging two hundred thousand dollars a month. Yeah, that's crazy. I fucking live in a loft in Soho. In a month, I can pay it for fifteen grand dollars. I can do all these things. I can, you know, I can, I can, I can pay. I can, I can just even like tell them to buy me the Ferrari. Yeah, you know, like yeah. them, or for them to go purchase, like maybe a house for me in LA, yeah, fifty million. No, yeah. that's why tomorrow you see tabloids, whatever, and everything, papers saying, yeah, you just bought a house, yeah, fifty three point seven million dollars. No, money, money matters is crazy. Though. Well, well yeah. that's what also people have to understand with having money on what, what happens. Yeah. You have to know about like banks. You have to know when you have money, what to do with it. It's not about you going to have these deals and have Nyungu coming in and you eat it. And now, 30,000 Nyungu. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, those are the yeah. secrets then. Sure. The secrets is basically you, you go to the source. You find the source. You find the, the source. source. Yeah. You find a way to exploit your skill with, with the source. You know, continue the relationship, relationship management, play Away. the long game. So the relationship is a long term. It's a long term relationship. How about the situation? Yeah. So that's what we so that's what we're looking at and yeah. know the money. That's a been a it's been a fruitful conversation. Yeah. Today. But then lastly, then where where are you taking Jay now? Where is um nature is consistent going? Where is your artwork going? We're heading to the next day. Tomorrow will always come. Trees will always grow. Rain will always come. Nature's consistent. <laughs> I'll still go to the bathroom and digest what I ate. This art is still gonna evolve. We're gonna move 
with time, if you're going to move with nature, will plan, yes, I can say, I want to auction my art to Sotheby's now. Um, I never know when I wake up tomorrow what I would think Hectic. about it because I just love moving with time. But like to be specific, because I don't condemn about to now. We don't. We ain't trying to be controversial for F. So what's gonna happen? Let's say I'm just gonna get another corporate company, so we can host an exhibition for them to sell out, to buy out everything, mm. and just hang them for people to come see. Put hectic prices. Then it hectic doesn't mean prices. people need to buy. You know, you just yeah. put hectic prices. You already got paid. You're working with a company. Same with what I do with Prime Art, with my Nature's Consistent exhibition in May. Mm. I was working with Prime Art. And the day? Yeah, everything. Is their pain? Prime Art is the biggest um, art supply distributor in South Africa. All the stores, PNA, what what, rather rather, they get their supply from Prime Art. We're talking about people moving weight, you know? <laughs> We're moving art weight. They're moving art weight. So. I say, I'm going to create like a campaign for you guys. This exhibition is about promoting that you guys sell canvases, brushes, paints, and this is what your paints and brushes and canvases can do. And I'm going to promise media, I'm going to promise crowd, I'm going to promise a well successful event. I'm going to bring Fred Pack, Sobering, Kito, everyone. They're going to be there. They're going to be like, you know, traffic. It's going to yeah. be there. So. Give me this much, I'll paint this much pieces. And let's make a party and shoot. And go promote it back on your sides and show them what it's And then when I was la sell a price. Yeah, you know, it's hectic. Yeah, put it, yeah. You know, price. Then someone will be like, this one is crazy, this one. But you got paid. Yeah, nah, go on. Answer. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So, it's love, man. You know, like, it's, it's, the, it's the love of work. It's the love of what you do in your life. This involves, like, you've seen life, Joe. You can be rich as much as you want. Ne? Matter of all, always have feelings, emotions, yep. depression, anxiety, stress. Like, more to the end of the day, like, your flesh, dog. Yeah, flesh. Um, this thing feels pain, dog. No matter what. It's consistent. It, you know, it's consistent. It's and again, in our lives, we need friends. We need family. We need girlfriends. We need wives. We need children. I love. A success that has all those things. Dope. You know, that's like a definition of success. Family. And friends. Friends. And money. You know, and, and money. And money. <laughs> it's money. Money. <laughs> money. Money. And God. Money and, and God. Paramount. Par yeah. You know, like, so you have to stack it up. But like, I love all my friends who've been there and seeing what I'm doing. But like, you know what's crazy about friendship, ne? <sighs> you can have the love, ne? For your friends. Let's say you're awesome, you're doing all these nice things. But Ejo, there's this thing called prayer, Shabo. If you've been living with people and now you pull up in a Ferrari and they've been with you from the, bit, from mm -hmm. the down, mm -hmm. And you pull up with a Ferrari, some might feel as if now Jay. They need to have a Ferrari. Yeah. Because Jay's got a Ferrari. He's got a Ferrari. Now you're yeah. putting pressure on yourself. Yeah. Or some people never take pressure the same. Some might hate. Some might be motivated. Some might motivate me. Yeah. Some might feel like, no, you think you're better than us now. Yeah. You know, such things. And again, you have money, you're moving on with your life. You get a girlfriend, you turn into your wife, you move in with her, you no longer like that with your friends. Since, oh, the next yeah, yeah, progression of yeah, life. Yeah, you know, yeah. you no longer like that with your friends. And now 
it happens as if like you're distancing yourself, but like, no, you're trying to build now. It's no longer like that. But like, you got my number, ring me if you need anything. Not go back behind my back and spares me and be like, since Jay no, it's again. And and he forgets that we are the ones who are the ones we come with him from far back. But I won't, my friends won't give me a baby, you know? Now we're going into life orientation. Hey, <laughs> yeah, man. Mara, I guess everyone understands at home, Hore. Man, it's about peace and love in God. We've spoken so much, we've never touched base on spirituality, but like it's for another day. That one yeah. is deep. It's too deep. It's too deep, but like... Just know, you gotta stay connected, connected to the source. To the source. The biggest the source. Biggest the source. Biggest the source. Yeah. yeah. The realest source. Oh, Jay. Wow, this was awesome. Thank you, bro. Bless, man. Big wow. blessings, man. Yeah. Shout out to God. Shout out to God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.